Hello everyone, it is I Republic Studs, and today I was sent some stuff by my friends over at the Cape Cantina. Now my boy Freshy, who owns the Cape Cantina, has hooked me up with some sick capes, and I'm really excited to get into this. So these basically are where you can deck out your uh, like different Lego minifigures with these custom capes, and it makes them look really cool. Uh, you know, you get flags, you got this, I, I have even tents and stuff. And he has a really awesome product. Freshy makes a fantastic product. I've been working with him for over a year now. And he's, I, I liked this stuff even before. Uh, he sent me some stuff over for free, uh, but you know, it's all very nice. And you know, I want to take a look at it. So let's get right on into it. I'm also going to ask you all to please subscribe and hit that bell and do all the other things. Let's get into it. So first off, we're going to take off one of these. You just kind of slide it off. And this has some capes. I also have some of Commander Picard's, which I had opened up uh, earlier. Uh, so, yeah. So, basically, you could set up Commander Bakara. Uh, it's pretty simple application. Uh, all you got to do is some pretty basic stuff. You apply it. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a little complicated, and it gets a little frustrating, especially when you have to put the torso ones on over. Um, but you'll see how that works in a second. I'll actually um, pause so that way you don't have to sit through me uh, doing this. But, yeah. Okay, so it's actually really simple. I have those on, and all you have to do is pop on the new Clone Army Customs helmet, and like so, you have a beautiful Commander Bakar. So for like $2.50 or whatever this cape costs, uh, maybe $1, uh, you could basically set up your own Commander Bakar if you have like pretty much any clone tour. So I think you'd even be fine if you used a 501st one, because it covers it up pretty well. Um, but yeah, so this looks great. I, I think it looks beautiful. It's a cheap alternative to make a Commander Bakar. I am personally using, I had an extra Phase 1 torso lying around, so I thought... This worked pretty well, and you know, I've always wanted a Bakar, and now I finally have one. I think it looks great, and I can't wait to get some Galactic Marines in soon, actually. Um, but let's take a look at some other stuff. So he actually makes uh, some capes, and I wanted to take a look at those. Ooh, we got some plastic. And I, I think I asked him to send all of them, but he only sent a few, so maybe in the next uh, haul he'll send some more. Uh, but we have Republic and Separatist flags. So all you have to do is get these flag poles. Uh, you could just loop them in, and it's really quite simple. I really, really you know, like just enjoy these. I think they're great. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. So I actually wanted to get General Grievous. They actually make a General Grievous cape. We can zoom in on there. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I could have him holding the amazing Separatist flag. I really think it looks great. Uh, I did have a slight problem with it. This one's a little defective. Um, so, you know, I guess w warning, I guess I'm sure he'd be willing to replace it if you're broke, uh, for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks beautiful either way and you'd still use the broken one. Then you also get the Republic one, which I'll have, uh, my boy Gary here hold. I'm just gonna shuffle it in this way. It's, again, pretty quite simple. And like that, you have your Republic and Separatist flag. You'd set these up at your bases. You could set these up as, like, a rallying thing. You could have them in your mocks. Uh, you know, they're just super fun little flags, and I really, really appreciate it. A like for the Republic, comment for the Separatists. They also sent these capes over, so if you want to recreate that guy from the Bad Batch, uh, I'm not sure who his name was, uh, but I know he did come with uh, this special, like, I don't even know what to call it, like an, an overshawl thing, something. I, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it looks pretty cool. You don't even need to have the other parts, and I don't even think I'm going to put them on, uh, just because I think it works as is to, like, recreate that character uh, specifically. And again, we'll give him another nice little blaster. And I think that works well. Again, if you want, you could always put around the torso cape, and I'll do that now. Oh, okay, I kind of lied again. It does look freaking dope. I really like the way this looks. Uh, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, now let's see. we'll get some more capes. I actually wanted to take a look at this back one here. Um, it is like all gray, and I wasn't really sure what clone to use this with. And I'm like, what if we tried this on a Kashyyyk Trooper? I'm curious how that would look. So we're gonna get our Kashyyyk Trooper, and I'm gonna put that on and see how that looks. Okay, so here this guy is. He's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I think they could have done him a little better. Uh, just having a problem with this torso cape thing. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it comes with a little printing on there, if you could tell. Um, it's there, it's just hard with the camera. Uh, he comes with this nice little setup. I think it works. I'm not sure if this was the intended figure. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which figure this is intended for, but it does look neat. I think it could have used, like, you know, an arm type thing. I don't even know what to call it, like the arm sash. I, I don't even know. Uh, and yeah, so it, it's a neat figure. I think it's interesting, but I wouldn't say it's like something I'd 
choose to get, but uh, he did send it to me, and it's it's neat. Uh, now let's check it. We'll get this uh, Wolf Pack Trooper one. I'll just get right into it. Uh, so this one has been ca catching my eye for a while now. Uh, it looks like the Dave Filoni Wolf Pack, uh, and that looks epic, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop this on. We're gonna take a look at it. This is actually pretty epic. I like this a lot. Uh, you get this nice little Wolf Pack design. Obviously, it's uh, the Wolf Trooper. Uh, you know, you get the same thing on the helmet. I think it makes it very cool for a, like, if you want a Wolfpack Special Forces uh, kind of guy, like, or something from Battlefront. I think this would just make him sick. I think that's kind of what I tried to recreate here. And again, I don't have an official Wolfpack Trooper. I just have the, hel the helmet. I need an official one eventually. Uh, but let's take a look at these. I'm curious to see what these are. And I actually want to try these on the ARF Trooper, because um, I think they would work well with, uh, or ARC Trooper, not ARF Trooper. Uh, so I think they'd work well with that. Um, so, you know, before I will even show you that, I'll show you. Uh, so you get, like, this part, which is, like, the weird... I, I don't even know. Again, I don't know the terms. If you guys could tell me the terms in the comments below, that would be appreciated. And then you have, like, the, the comma, and you have the shoulder pauldron. Uh, so maybe I'll... Here, I'll show you guys how to put these together, because it's, it's quite a neat experience. I just basically push them down. Uh, you know, it's simple. Oh, and I forgot something. I forgot these. Oh, my gosh. I am retardando. Uh, but, yeah. So I forgot these, and then you're just going to put that on. It's a little complicated, but it's easy to figure out when you have it in hand. It just looks a little complicated. And like that, you have the entire cape done. Uh, so now after that, what you're going to want to do, and you'd fix it up once uh, you know the torso's on, because this is where it gets a tad complicated. You just have to put that on the peg, lift the arms, get it on. And then after that, you could adjust it, which I'm going to do now. Okay, so I have him loaded with a Brick Arms Blaster. I gave him a different helmet, actually, because the other one just didn't work well with this design. Um, but it is, again, pretty pretty simplistic. Same kind of design as before. I like it. I think it, it is neat. Again, I think it's a, still a little complicated, so I think if he could simplify it a bit more, that would be awesome. Uh, but I really, really do like it. Now, I think overall, these are a great product. I really, really think they're cool. They're really cheap. They're like two bucks each give or take. Some of them are a little more, some are a little less. Shipping is super affordable, especially in the U.S. All you basically have to pay for is a stamp if you buy a certain amount of them. And it's just an all-around great product. I've supported them for years. I really, really think it's a cool thing. And I have a code for it, actually. It's our studs. You save 10% on your entire order on top of that, uh, which is a great deal. Um, that's not really, you know, I, only, I don't really get that many benefits from it, but I want you guys to have the discount code. And yeah, I mean... Tell me what you guys think. Will you be getting your own faction flags? I honestly think those are some of the coolest things. I have been using them forever. Faction flags are super fun. And they have rebellion ones, imperial ones on top of the uh, these. They also, he also has some World War II stuff, uh, which I st I'm going to try to get into because that's really neat. And yeah. So with that, then, thank you, Freshie, again for sending these over. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.